All right, in today's lesson, we're going to be taking a look at the idea of operations on integers. So we're going to talk about bed mass here. So we're going to go through some expressions and apply our bed mass rules here to tackle these problems. So for the first one here, I have the following expression. And what I want to do is I want to get this down to a single number, evaluate this expression. So B stands for brackets. you got to take care of what's in the brackets first. So I've got brackets here to take care of and brackets here to take care of. So tacking the innermost bracket here to assess this one here, I've got 1 squared plus 2 minus 1. Inside the brackets, we have exponents, so I'm going to take care of that. Well, 1 squared is just 1, so not much happens there. Division symbol. I can simultaneously work with this uh, brackets on the right-hand side here, and this will be 1 plus 1 is 2. Now, again, using your bed mass rules, we know that B stands for brackets, so I have to go ahead and take a look at the brackets here. You can see uh, this ends up reducing to become a 2. So you have 2 divided by 2. And as we know, this is 1. So applying our bed mass rules here, we have an answer of 1. Moving on here, take a look at the next question here. So going through bed mass, let's write this down. So we have our bed mass rules here. B is for brackets. If you look at this question, I have no brackets. E for exponents, I have no exponents. D for division, no division symbol. And then we have multiplication. So multiplication happens right here. So I'm going to take care of that first. So this is going to end up being 24 plus 5 minus 2 plus 4 plus 5. At this point here, addition and subtraction are, you can do that in any order. You can either do the addition first or the subtraction first. It makes no difference here. Typically what people do uh, in this case here when using bed mass, they just go from left to right because you're just left with addition and subtraction, so it doesn't really matter. So in this case here, I'm going to go ahead from left to right. I'm going to end up getting here uh, 29 minus 2 plus 4 plus 5, and that's going to be 27 plus 4 plus 5, which is 31 plus 5. And our final answer for this one is 36. All right, let's take a look at some more. So for this problem here, same idea. We want to go through our bed mass rules. So B stands for brackets. So already I'm ignoring this for now. I'm focusing my attention here. You want to go to the innermost bracket first if you have something like these nested brackets they're called. And that's going to happen with this bracket here. So that's the first thing I'm going to tackle. So I'm going to write this back down. I'm actually going to rewrite this as 4 times 5 in this manner just to get rid of the x uh, for any confusion. And then I'm going to rewrite uh, this as 1 squared plus 4. And now B does stand for brackets. I have to take care of the brackets first. So this is, ends up being um, 5 times 4 minus this 1 squared is just 1. So this will be 1 plus 4. And again, this is going to be 5 times 4 minus 5. And again, going through your bed mass operations, what you don't want to do is you don't want to take 4 minus 5 and put a negative 1. That would be wrong. We have to do our multiplication first, and that's going to be 5 times 4. So this ends up being 20 minus 5, in which case our answer is 15. All right, continuing on here, again, B is for brackets. So I've got myself my innermost bracket I have to take care of first. So this ends up being uh, 7 times 2 minus 2 minus, that becomes a 4 divided by 4. Now, going through your bed mass rules, you still have to take care of brackets first. So my attention now becomes in here. This needs to be taken care of first. Going through your order of operations on this expression, we're going to have to take care of multiplication. So this becomes uh, 14 minus 2 minus 4 divided by 4. Still need to take care of the brackets, in which case this becomes 14 minus 2 is 12. Minus 4 is 8. This ends up being 8 divided by 4. Now we go through doing division, so 8 divided by 4 is 2. All right, continuing on. So with these questions here, same idea. I want to go ahead and do brackets first. So looking at this problem, I see my brackets right there. So I'm going to go ahead and tackle this. This ends up being 5 minus 2 is 3 squared minus 5. Now in this situation here, I move on. I have no brackets. i got to take care of exponents. So I've got an exponent here. This is 9 minus 5. So now I've got no brackets, I have no exponents. I do have division, but you can't divide this out straight, right? Four divided by nine minus five doesn't work. I have to clean this up first. So when you are doing bed mass here and you are doing division, you have to ensure that they sort of implicitly should have put brackets around this initial expression here. But a lot of times that's omitted in math. So this becomes four over four, which is one. Let's take a look here. 
So for this problem here, again, uh, B for brackets. So we'll take care of that first. This is going to be, I'm going to rewrite this as 4 times 2. This is 2 squared minus 2. And then we have ourselves our exponents. This is 4 times 2. Taking care of exponents here, I know that 2 squared is 4. This becomes 4 minus 2. And again, uh, next up is going to be multiplication. Uh, so if I go to do, well, I should say, if I go to do division here, you can't divide this out. So I, again, I, just like the same situation we had here, I have to clean up the top, which gives me 8, clean up the bottom, which gives me 2, and then my final answer here becomes a 4. All right, let's take a look at a couple, couple more examples here. So this example here, again, if you want to tackle this problem, and feel free to pause the video, try it yourself, and see your results here. I'm going to take care of the brackets first. Taking care of the brackets here, I end up getting 13 inside the brackets times 2 squared. Then I have brackets, but nothing going on here. And again, taking care of exponents, that becomes a 4. 13 times 4 gives us 52. All right, let's take care of this last problem here. So for this question here, um, I have no brackets in this expression. I do have exponents. So I'm going to rewrite this down. This is going to be 2 times 5 times 3 over 3 plus this 2 squared will become a 4. Now, B for brackets. Don't have any brackets. E for exponents. I then have division. And again, it's up to you what you want to do in this situation here. Um, you can, in this case here, because we're in the previous examples, we had addition or subtraction uh, between the fractions, if you notice. Um, like something like this, right? You can't uh, divide numbers out, like unless it's down to a single number, um, unless they're separated by multiplication. So now, because this is multiplication, these will cancel off, and this reduces to become just 2 times 5 plus 4. Uh, doing this here, and then applying our bed mass rules, that's 10 plus 4, and in which case we get 14. All right, so uh, this is just a quick example, kind of illustrating some quick uh, bed mass rules with integers. Thank you.